welcome to another video walk on the wild side and i'm here in blackpool i am down here on the beach and uh, it's around about 20 past eight in the morning and just look at this i don't know if you can tell behind me we've got the tide coming in but we've also got this quite heavy i don't know what to call it mist or fog i would say it's a mist you can't even see the tower the tower should be somewhere i don't know about there and <laughs> you can't see it at all <laughs> Uh, it was very, very wet yesterday, a really wet day on the Sunday and now. In fact, this week is looking really, really good. If you're coming to Blackpool this week and through the weekend, it's looking really good. The weather is looking really, really good. So you're in luck. But uh, anyway, I'm going to take a little look at the heart store demolition. They've pretty much got it all down now. And uh, I thought we'll just probably take one last look at that and see how they're doing. If we can see anything, that is, because with this mist, we might not be able to see a whole lot. But anyway, before I do that, I just want to turn the camera around and show you the sea coming in. It looks absolutely amazing. Let's check it out, shall we? So here's a look into the sun. And I just want to remind everyone that my calendar, 2025 Blackpool calendar, is now available. It's on the website. I'll put a link in the description. I won't be able to post any out until after this weekend all the details are on there if you want to check it out but just look at this now folks i'm right by the edge here now just about to see the south pier over there in, in the mist but just look at this now wouldn't you just love to be here in blackpool right now So I'm just looking to the north now and can you see the tower is just starting to appear. That looks pretty spectacular actually. You know, I really should have my camera with me. I've been getting pictures for the next, next calendar. Just look at that, can you see that? Oh wow, that looks amazing. Anyway, I'd better get off the, the beach because I've got this channel forming around me here. Can you see, we've got a water channel forming here. And if I don't get off here quick, it'll connect up with that one there and I'll be stranded on this island. So let's get onto the promenade and uh, have a little look at how they're doing with the demolition. But that looks absolutely spectacular. The sea is so calm, there's hardly any wind and that's why we've got these conditions. It looks so atmospheric with this mist and the tower has disappeared again. Just here we've got an advert for light pool. 18 to the 26th of October is the light pool festival in Blackpool. Make a note in your diary. Anyway, let's head to I'm going to nip through this uh, nice new car park here, actually, that's appeared on Blackpool Promenade. This is where the Easy Hotel was supposed to be, right here. So how much does it cost to park here? There you go, just in case you're interested. A bit cheaper than the... Uh, a bit cheaper than the council. But yeah, this, this bit of land here had steelwork put up for the Easy Hotel. And then it was there for a couple of years and then nothing was ever done with it. But now it's, uh, well, looks a bit better now that it's a car park, but we're just coming over to the store now, back of the shoe market, coming out onto this little road. I don't even know what this little road's called. Dutton Arms, of course, there, the pub huge pub that isn't it but anyway 
this is where they're up to. They've got that, 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 I think that side there is going to be, we're going to have to be quite careful with that side because it's very close to other buildings. But, uh, let's have a little look, shall we, through the fence. Yeah, so it's half past eight in the morning here in South Shore Blackpool and they're already on with the day six. Is it day six? Were they working at the weekend? Huh? I'm not too sure. Of the demolition of the former Woolworth store and then the Hart store. And that's all that's left of it. You can see some of the columns, the posts inside. So well, there you go, that's where they're up to. Here's a little look from the corner. Still got these big mats down here for the for the diggers when they go over the road so they don't damage the road. There's like a, there's a load of bricks down there on, on the pavement. I think that they're fancy bricks then. They've saved them, yeah, some of the fancy bricks around the windows, yeah. Now I did see on someone else's channel that on the side of that building there, which has been revealed, there's some sort of advert, macadam, or something like that. Can you see it on the side of that building? This is what happens when they knock things down, you get things revealed. It's like that one in town. You know that nail bar in town on Church Street that was knocked down? They found uh, some writing on the wall and it said livery and stables. Well, can't quite tell what that says there, but uh, there you go. If you can work it out, let me know in the comments. But there's a massive pile of wood there. This is how it's looking. Yeah, the side of that building doesn't look too healthy, does it? Probably why they've had to put scaffolding up on it. But, uh, there you go. Sun's starting to poke out better now. OK, so that's it for this video. Thanks for tuning in. I thought I'd take a little look at uh, probably one, well, maybe not the last time. We'll, we'll have another look sometime. But uh, as you can see, they've pretty much got the, the building right down. And it's so atmospheric in Blackpool this morning, isn't it? Yeah, with the mist. But uh, I'm going to be quite busy this week, so I thought I'd get that in now first. And... Uh, Loads of other people will be filming it, so you can check out their channels as well. Uh, but that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one. Don't forget those calendars.